Hello everyone, my name is Raphael Walter and today we're going to build with the SAP BTP integration suite a half interface coming from SuccessFactor into an SFTP system. So this is my SuccessFactor system and then we're going to go into the uh, the BTP integration suite and I'm going to create a new integration flow. So this is going to be my integration flow and now we're going to edit this so coming from a post-it postman sorry <laughs> uh, we're going to go from postman uh, into the integration flow so let's give it a connection so uh, for the address I could be using this name. I'll uncheck the this. Okay. So then after the start, we're going to do the requests. So I'm just going to add it in this way. You could also drag and drop, I'll show it in a few seconds, like if I want to drop the receiver, but I like to do it directly here, I think. Gets you a little bit of time, and uh, we're going to go into success factor, and uh, we're going to be using uh, SOAP. Okay, so I need the address of my success factor system. Okay, and for the credential, we're going to be using a basic authentication. So just so you know, before I started and I've created two credentials, so one for my success factor system and one for my SFTP system. So I'm going to be using this one for my success factor here. And for the processing, so here, I'm going to hide myself for a second. You see, you can select the the system, uh, the, the query, the table that you're going to be using, the entity, sorry, and then you'll select the different fields. So now I'm going to get the employee compensation. And I'm going to build the query of what I want to get. So I'm going to get all this. Uh, Okay, and once you're finished, so you have selected your entity, you have a query, and uh, then we're going to select OK. Okay, so now I have my receiver. Maybe I'm just going to change the name and specify that it is success factor. Okay, so I could basically end it like this. I'm just going to add, I'm going to convert this XML message into a JSON. And uh, one last step is I'm going to add a content modifier. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this. Uh, not move, remove, move it. Okay, and I'm going to add a content modifier here. And in this content modifier, we're just going to add here the content type. <laughs> Sorry. and application JSON okay so that's it and then we're gonna add uh, so I'm keeping the JSON the XML to JSON uh, as it is it's uh, there is nothing needed to be changed here and then we're gonna do the call uh, from um, to push it to the SFTP system. So here I'm going to go into my receiver, SFTP, and 
And for this, we're going to be using the SFTP connection, receiver, my target. Uh, I'm going to write into the outgoing directory. My file name is going to be Let's use this. Okay, the address of my system, my SFTP system. And for this, I'll be using again my username, password, and the credential name here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So let's just verify once more connection SFTP saving this and deploying. Yes. Okay. So now this is basically we're done. And now we've deployed uh, the, the integration flow. So if we go here, <coughs> Sorry, we'll see, we'll see the integration flow. And we have the endpoints. So I'm just gonna copy this. What we need to do before we're able to use this in Postman is we need to create a token to allow for us to generate and to use this. So what I'm gonna be doing here is this is my instance and subscriptions. Uh, this is my application. And I have my instances and I'm going to be using my keys. So if we go here, we can download the key. So I've downloaded the key. And this has the client, the client ID, the client secret, and the token URL. Okay. So using this token URL, we're simply going to add uh, something to the token URL. So I'm going to go into Postman right now. And uh, so this is the, we're going to use the post command with the URL that we got, the token, uh, and then we're just simply going to add uh, grant type equals crying credential the username from the client ID and uh, the secret with the password. And then we'll just send this and retrieve the access token. So I'm going to get this access token here. Go back here. Fill in the token that we just got back. So now I'm going to paste the value here and send here. And we got the response in a JSON format. So now what we need to verify is that uh, this was indeed pushed into uh, the SFTP uh, system. So we go into our SFTP system. Uh, we need to, so I've logged in. Now I need to go to outgoing. <laughs> And here we have the file that was just uploaded. Uh, so I'm going to get the gonna get. Oh, sorry. Going to get the file. And uh, now So now we see the, the file here that was retrieved and that was pushed into into our into our file. So uh, this was just to show you how very quickly uh, we were able to create an integration flow from uh, the success factor into uh, into an SFTP uh, system right here now. Okay. Um, you saw we were able to create this very quickly and uh, 
retrieve all the information and uh, use Postman to get to push this and to retrieve uh, the file in the FCFTP system. Thank you very much. I hope this was useful. Useful. Bye bye.